Hi guys, this is your boy KLP Fishing Outdoors. I'm coming right to your life. So, in the honor of Mexico for gaining the Mexico independence, I've decided that I would like to do a simple fishing challenge while I come out here and simply try and catch a fish on Mexico food. Simple. In the honor of, you know, in the honor of Mexico getting the Independence Day for Cinco de Mayo. So I have a bell pepper on the hook. Now I'm going to put a simple onion. Well, that works. Oh, onion. Why are you not willing to cooperate with me? With the onion, you guys. So we have the bell pepper and the onion. What he has proof, this guy's now can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this out. <coughs> now scoot the backpack over to turtle. And then cast out, you know, fire out. What that, what that set, you know, what it set. You know, sim you know we just want to let that simply sit. We on the slack. Just let 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 the. How many the cooler you guys? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie on a tortilla shell. Okay. I'm now going to tie on the tortilla shell. Which I would like to tie on this tortilla shell. This is what I'm kind of thinking. What I am thinking. You guys, you know, like, this should be really interesting to see. I'm going to, um, what it's sink. Now, what I want to do, ideally, what I would want to do is let it sink to the bottom. And as it sinks to the bottom, count how, many, how long it, that is. So you can get an idea depth of how deep it is. <clears throat> anyway, I just threw this out. And on my first cast, the tortilla fell out. Kind of my own fault, but I mean. Okay, so apparently the tortilla shell does not like to stay on the hook. It is not very friendly. It is not very friendly, apparently. <laughs> apparently, you know, it is not very friendly. It is not very friendly. Now, don't do this. I'm only doing this temporarily. Just so I can get another tortilla shell. <laughs> like, this is not working out very well for you guys. But whatever, you know, but it is what it is. Now, I don't know if it's the hook or the tortilla or what, or if it's or even at all how it is that I'm catching. So I have a onion and bell pepper onto this hook right now. Let's put some corn. Let's go ahead and bait this with corn. Because we've already turned the water, but I want to put some corn on. So something that's going to get a very big meal. <laughs> They're going. The, the, the fish are in a bite mood. I sh real. Like I don't like peppers, so I don't care if uh, the peppers bad in a few days or not. Oh wow. So we have a very um, food choice um, onion, green bell pepper, and a piece of corn. These fish, they should eat. They should eat it, you know. 
Fisher eat this. They don't eat this relatively soon. They don't eat this relatively soon, guys. Well, there's the onion. Which means we only have the green bell pepper now. You know what? You know what? I got it. We are going to put some corn on here. We're going to add corn. Yep, we're going to add corn. Temporary. Okay, so we have a. So on the hook, we have a green bell pepper, a tortilla shell, and corn. That should be very interesting to see. This will be very interesting to see if the fish will bite. <coughs> I must go backwards on the chair. We have some spinning action. I'm gonna go ahead and catch like near these trees right here. Oh yeah. Now this should be interesting to see. So the tortilla show. No, I don't know if you guys can see. No, I don't know if you guys can see this. Come here. But the tortilla show has fallen off the hook. <laughs> so the tortilla show is out the option. Oh god. The green so so it's it's a boy Caleb here for now. So I have this bottle of onsu tea, so it's important to stay hydrated. So I have this one fishing. Now as you guys saw, I was currently using this bell pepper and this corn. So maybe there's something here that might like to eat that. <coughs> Let's pull. We have the bell pepper. Cut straight out. So who knows? Maybe I'll catch something here.
at something. Well, you have something. You have something. Come on. Come on. Give me a better idea. Now I'm going to just gently cast this and just see what in the world will happen. I see, like this looks like a fish. Like it looks like a fish. I'm mean, imitating something. You know, something simple. <coughs> yeah. So there it is, you guys. It looks like it's simple. It looks simple. Now I have this pole as you guys saw just cast out like that, you know, casting it out. So that's sitting on the bottom. So that that one is going to be sitting on the bottom. Okay, great. So this is a tick to you. Okay. okay, guys. So I have this onion tied onto the hook. So this should be really, really interesting. I cut the onion like a look like a tail of a fishing tail. Something that should be interesting to see. Okay, so as you guys can see, the onion stays on the hook. Great. Now maybe I should be able to. If I should somehow be able to um, catch something, something like I wish some I wish a larger my bass would bite right now. That's what I wish. Maybe I should put a bell pepper on this thing. So there's not much action on this that can be done, apparently. Apparently there's not much action, you guys. But still. I like we can always catch one. Wee hee hee hee. about enticing them, put on corn, put on a piece of corn you guys, they should be interesting to do, you should see. I want to let you guys know, I also want to let you guys know, you know, if you guys made it this far, Hopefully there's something bites you guys. Is this be anyways on an onion? Guys, who knew that a onion would stay on the hook best? Well, a spinning onion. So, okay, so the onion it's acting more like a spinner bait right now. Like. Here's my game plan. 